For more than a century, evidence for the production of crucible steel in Central and Southern Asia, prior to the European Industrial Revolution, has fascinated and challenged material scientists, historians and archaeologists. At the same time, chromium alloyed stainless steel was developed in the early 20th century, building upon 19th century experiments with low chromium steel. Now, however, academics have revealed that medieval Persians were using the element in steel alloys to give their weapons a cutting edge almost a millennium before the likes of Harry Braley, the metallurgist behind stainless steel. A team led by Dr. Ahil Alipour, of the Institute of Archaeology at University College London, studied metal particles from the steel-making center of Shahak, in Fars province, southern Iran. The particles were datable from their context to the 11th-12th centuries. They discovered that the steel which was produced there in small crucibles contained a consistent chromium content of about 1%. Dr. Ahil Alipo said, Our research provides the first evidence of the deliberate addition of a chromium mineral within steel production. We believe this was a Persian phenomenon. This research not only delivers the earliest known evidence for the production of chromium steel dating back as early as the 11th century CE, but also provides a chemical tracer that could aid the identification of crucible steel artifacts in museums or archaeological collections back to their origin in Shahak, or the Shahak tradition. A contemporaneous crucible steel flint striker held in the Tanavali collection is reported to also contain chromium, suggesting its origin from Shahak. The mysterious compound Rusaktaj from Beruni's recipe for crucible steel making refers to the mineral chromite. Additional historical sources up to the mid-second millennium CE refer to crucible steel from Shahak as being particularly brittle, consistent with its increased phosphorus content. Shahak is described in a number of historical manuscripts dating from the 12th to 19th century as a once famous steel production center, and is the only known archaeological site within Iran's borders with evidence of crucible steel making. The manuscript al jamahir fi Marifu al jawahir a compendium to know the gems, 10th-11th CE, written by the Persian polymath Abu Rehan Buryuni, was of particular importance to the researchers given it provided the only known crucible steel-making recipe. This recipe recorded a mysterious ingredient that they identified as chromite mineral for the production of chromium crucible steel. While Shahak is registered as a site of archaeological importance, the exact location of crucible steel production in Iran remained a mystery and difficult to locate today, given numerous villages in Iran are named Shahak. The team used radiocarbon dating of a number of charcoal pieces retrieved from within a crucible slag and a smithing slag, by-products left over after the metal has been separated, to date the industry to the 11th to 12th century CE. Crucially, analyses using scanning electron microscopy enabled them to identify remains of the ore mineral chromite, which was described in Buryuni's manuscript as an essential additive to the process. They also detected 1-2 to percent of chromium in steel particles preserved in the crucible slags, demonstrating that the chromite ore did form chromium steel alloy.